All right, uh, so I have this quick job to do today. Um, so I'm gonna just jump into it and I wanna show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go to my hard drive really quick. I'm going to my laser projects, cutting boards, and I have this Sara and Josh cutting board that I'm gonna be working on. So uh, the cutting board is roughly 15 by 15. And this doesn't need to be that big. It's going to be in the corner. They want to have something useful. So I'm going to measure the cutting board. I'm going to draw the area and I'm going to try to center it properly before uh, starting the laser because it's a little loud with the fan. But I want to show you what it is. It's basically this artwork here. You will see it. It's, it's a really simple thing. But there's a couple things I need to correct. So you will see this overlapping A and R, A and H. Uh, there's a little bit of overlapping there. So I'm going to try to get that fixed. Uh, for what we know, uh, we need to right click and ungroup this. So uh, each letter will be in individual. Now, let's see, there you go. So I'm going to try to select these two. And here is an emerging perfect. Now these other two. There's the other problem. And I'm going to do union as well. Uh, so yeah, that that seems to be now perfect. I don't have other overlap to worry about. Uh, and this file was made on Illustrator, so it's nothing, nothing, nothing complicated. It's just a shape with a random. Uh, plant leaves, you know, there and a nice font that goes with uh, what they were looking for. So, all these uh, I'm gonna use engraving, and I you know I like to use this engraving. So, I'm gonna be doing this on the Rolly, uh, and in this case, the Rolly is 10 watts and 30 watts. I'm gonna be doing the 10 watt, I know it will take me more time. But I like how the definition of a 10 watt against a 30 watt that is great for cutting is. So I want to do these measurements and stuff and coming back. Okay, I put it on my rolly. I'm using the jig table. Uh, you guys know that I love the jig table because I can put the edges and this will be just in the corner perfectly. So that's awesome from rolly. So I want to use millimeters uh, i have everything configured for millimeters so here it is i'm gonna put it like down exactly to make sure that i'm straight on the measurement so this one is about 39.6 and it's a square so i'm gonna say 39.6 by 39.6 that's what i'm going to use and i'm gonna do everything first on Lightburn. Uh, I wipe this really quick to, get, to take dust and stuff. My laser is already in focus. So let's go back to Lightburn and see what we have. Okay, so we have 39.6 centimeters that will translate to 396 millimeters. Now, I'm gonna be trying to do all this with a trackpad because my mouse is, <laughs> of course, my mouse is not really working right now. Uh, so what we need to do here is first the square and I'm going to use this as a tool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure that I have the right size. So for me, the size on this is 396, 396 by 396. So there it is, that's the square that I'm gonna be working on. So it's gonna be something around that. And I wanna make this a little bit larger. I wanna be able to enjoy this engrave. So usually I like to do this about uh, look at the proportions about four inches so that's a hundred it's 101 four inches so let's do 101 by the equivalent 
So I'm gonna put this one right here. So now that I have everything kind of as set and lay where I want it to work, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make sure I wanna make sure that my artwork is on the right place. And for that, I need to make some noise. So I wanna start my laser, home the laser, and frame it from there, so. Okay, the machine is going. So I'm going to select the COM7. That's usually where my Rolly is connected. And automatically will start uh, with the home. Okay, now that it's home, I'm gonna hit frame here. Uh, I'm gonna try to see what is the speed of frame. You know, I'm gonna slower it down. I just wanna make sure that I see where everything is. I'm gonna hit frame. Uh, personally, I like the position. I'm gonna do it one more time to make sure. Okay, uh, I think looks good where it is right now. Yeah, it's right where I want it. So now that I know where I want it, I wanna confirm my settings on the speed and power. And also I'm going to change for 10 watt. All right, I flipped the little switch on the side of the Rolly to make sure that I only use a 10 watt because it has a more defined details. Um, now, good layer here in cuts. So let's see what I have here. So the overall settings I have in this one are pretty good. Maximum power since I'm gonna be using the 10 watt. I'm gonna I'm gonna do 90% power and I'm gonna Move this to is As I would so it's kind of a hard wood So I'm gonna give it a try with I Think 80% will work fine. I don't need the air assist at this point uh, So everything looks fine fine as it is. If I need an extra pass, I will just run it in one more time. But let's go with this. So first things first, I'm going to start my filter box. So for this specific laser, I'm running my filter box in about 20%. Uh, it's not a big, big laser. And 20% is plenty really for this. So uh, now that I have everything there, I'm gonna give it a go. So, be right back. Before I move this, remember don't move it if you're not sure. So I want to see how deep it is. So I can feel it there. It has a nice gap, so it's a nice and deep and great. So this is done. So the engraved comes with a little bit of gunk around it because the wood, you know, have the vapors and have a little sticky material around. It happens, it's normal. So you just wipe it off. You can use a baby wipe, you can use water and soap, whatever you like. So I use water and soap. And after that, I use our uh, polymer. This one is a polymerized tomb oil. Uh, this is really good for wood, so it helps to seal and give it an even color. And of course, protect. This is food safe. 
So this board is ready, ready to go. And we are going to just wrap this and get it ready for the customer. So I'm gonna let it sit for today and it will be ready to be wrapped tomorrow. So it's not oily or anything like that. So that wood's going to suck this in and have a good finish. So that's the job done. So let, let's talk about the process. So first of all, the customer reach out to you and they said, oh, I want uh, a cutting board, chopping board, whatever you want to call it for a gift for a wedding. So if you have the materials, you already know what is going to be the cost, the time and everything you're going to put on. Uh, normally this has a really good profit on it. This I'm using uh, these specific boards, so it will give you a nice margin. Uh, and all depends and go down to how prepared you are with your graphics. So in my case, I'm a graphic designer for over 20 years and I've been doing all kinds of designs. So this is pretty intuitive for me, especially these kind of designs are really simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the file in the description below with no names and no date. So you can put the names and the date on your projects. Uh, ideally, you will be looking for a cutting board between 50 to 70 dollars depending your market depending the person you are selling depending how many you are selling and things like that and this is a probably between cleaning engraving designing and having everything ready probably is a i'm gonna say 30 minutes job so if you have a bigger laser you can make more more than one uh, I couldn't done this on the F1 Ultra. Yes, I could, and probably will be even faster than doing it on a gantry laser. But this is specific wood, I noticed that it has a nice brown with a 10 watt than the Ultra don't gave me. So I decided to go for a gantry. So always know your machines, always, always, always know your materials. And the most important part is make sure that you make the money for the time that you invest in the project too, not just the material. So with that being said, this is a great item. Holidays are around the corner. People is getting these, wrapping it in really pretty, gave it to you know significant others, uh, family members, homes, moms, dads, you name it. So there you guys have it. Uh, the settings are on the video. Just grab that and find your settings. Uh, this worked for me on that specific laser with that wood experiment a little to find your settings and if you like the content please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell so you get the alerts and as always fire the laser <laughs>